Hi, my name is Nicole and I work in corporate communications at La Mobiliere. I'm responsible for our internet and I'm also the product owner for the development of our internet solution. Hello, my name is Nero D'Andrea. Just call me Nero. I'm a developer specifically in the SharePoint field since 15 years. Back to you, Nicole. Thank you, Nello. We work for La Mobiliere, the oldest insurance company in Switzerland, with 6,400 employees and 80 general agencies. We insure every third household and every third company in Switzerland. In our IT department, some 600 specialists ensure the smooth running of our systems and modernize our core IT systems. We also developed our internet internally with our team two years ago. The solution we all love and will showcase today is the in-page navigation. We had the following challenge. Our employees need to quickly find information and see all the related content for a particular topic on one page. With our extensive content like product pages, scrolling can be quite tiring. We needed a system where colleagues can easily see if the information they need is there and get to it fast. We also wanted to make it easier for our publishers to create and update content. We had three main objectives. Firstly, we needed a way to show the page structure automatically at the beginning. This helps our publishers save time when creating or updating a page. Second, our colleagues get a quick overview with a table of contents and can reach the information they need with one click. Last but not least, it should be easy to navigate through the page from anywhere. You can jump to any section and return to any other point on the page with just one click. We are so happy with the great solution that Nello has implemented for us. He is now showing us how it works, how to use it, and how he has developed it. Enjoy. Thank you, Nicole, for your kind words. So implementing solution is one part of the process, <clears throat> but we need a great product owner like Nicole. It's uh, essential for guiding you to success. And also our engineering team is also great implementing my solution. For this solution, we even uh, incorporated a great ID from one of our users who shared it with us during a visit to a general agency. So how does the implementation look? We have two SPFX solution, which you can use together or independently based on your needs. So there are no strict dependency between them. You can use either the Anchor web part or the scroll to top customizer. Both solutions work smoothly and complement each other very well. The web part reads all headings or title on a page, for example, when you put an heading from a text web part, uh, standard text web part from SharePoint. If you structure your SharePoint page with headings, the web part automatically creates an in-page navigation for your user. All processing is done dynamically, so users only need to update their pages. The application customizer injects on the page and becomes visible when the user, user scroll down. It disappears when users are at the top of the page. The customizer has two functions. First, it shows a scroll to the button, which is useful on long SharePoint page. Next to this button, if the anchor web part is present on the page, it shows a button that when clicked automatically display all anchors found on the page according to headings and settings defined in the anchor web part. As mentioned, both solutions complement each other well. The goal is to enhance SharePoint's in-page navigation, especially for long pages. We designed this solution to be intuitive for content publication and easy for user consuming content. Now let's move to a demo. I will share my screen. So we have a SharePoint page where we have pre-installed uh, the Anchor web part and also the scroll to top. So when I'm on top of the page, I don't see the scroll to top. If I scroll down, I see the scroll to top. So now this, this one are the Anchor, which are uh, automatically created based on the settings of the web part. I have uh, here H2 uh, tags, which I have on the page, so I can here click on this one. 
and then it jumps on this part of the page. And here, I see the scroll to the top. I can click here and go down. Up. <laughs> then I can go to solution, for example. I'm here. And if I click on this button, then I have the same navigation, which is not this one because I did not reload the page. That was the demo. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and I see here the, uh, the navigation, which is the same as the, as the navigation top. So now, I just will show how we can change uh, the settings of the web part. So we have various settings on this page. We can uh, define that it reads, for example, adding three or four in your the first and last uh, tags. This was all uh, uh, requisite from our business. And I can also change to a so-called numeric layout, where it will automatically number all the addings which he did file. So if I now publish the page and reload the page, then I'm here. I can jump to, for example, solution, and I have here exactly the same settings, which is rendered. So the scroll to top customizer reads the settings which is uh, uh, saved on the page and rendered this accordingly to your settings, which you have uh, here. So the experience is seamlessly between the Anchor web part and this customizer. So now let's move to the code. I will first show the web part. So it's standard React web part, which is great. And we have here it, an anchor component, which is loaded. And then in the anchor component, we just first get all the anchor tags through a little service class. And these uh, anchor tags leverage the great PNPGS framework. And we just read from the page context, the current list ID, which is the site page uh, library, and also the list item ID, which is the current page. And then we get the canvas content field. Now, here I have a little console log. I will just show you how this looks like and how you can also build on that. So I start. Uh, my help serve, just copy that, and yeah, just put this here. So great. Now, and it should console log the whole stuff, so it's a lot, but I can copy that and make it much more friendly for me. I'll just create the pay, uh, file and put this one here, just format it. And you have the whole SharePoint page. It's valid HTML and you can look how it works, how it is saved <clears throat> in the SharePoint context. So let's just get back to this after we have uh, read the content of the page, we use a standard uh, API from the browser, which is widely supported. It's a DOM parser. So you can load the content in, uh, in this, uh, with this method, and then you, you can perform various, uh, uh, various uh, operation. Like here, we just go and grab all the headings for our purpose, and then uh, we process and generate the code accordingly uh, in the React component. So let's move to the second component. It's the app customizer. Uh, you may remember we have a uh, first time uh, we we did a call. We did put this with uh, observable observe observer JavaScript observer. Here we, impl we have implemented it with a, a standard SPFX uh, method. So we leveraged the bottom placeholder, which is uh, supported, and then. Um, 
We can go here to our scroll to top and we see that we have two methods in order to uh, to do the processing because in the in the application customizer we first need to to make sure if the anchor report is available and if it's available we need to read the settings of the anchor report so this is also done in the in the service class and we parse the content and because we know that the anchor web part may be on the page, we can grab the content here with this uh, easy uh, access. And we have the width of the web part, which is uh, generated and is fixed on the page. And if the web part is found, then we, let, we populate our settings and then uh, we can uh, we can render the whole uh, model like I have shown it before. That was the demo. Thank you very much. Back to you, Nicole. Thank you, Nello. So if you like this solution, you can download it on our GitHub. If you want to read more about, you find some blog posts on puntobello.ch and you also can connect with us on LinkedIn or on GitHub. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice evening. Bye.